Hey guys, Dandelman308 here, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to use world edits for Minecraft 1.5.2 and most of the versions before. So, what I'm going to start off by saying is to get the one tool so you can select blocks in order to set the boundaries of where you want to change things, we're going to do slash slash wand. This is going to give by default a wooden axe, but this is changeable in the config. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this block here and then, then we're going to left click on that block, not right click, and then we're going to right click on this one. And we're going to type slash slash set one. What this does is it replaces every single one of the blocks with the block that you type in the command. So one is stone, which means every single one of the blocks within the area I selected is going to be changed to stone. If I wanted to change it to air, I'd have to do zero. If I wanted to change it to sand, I'd have to put the idea of sand. I don't know it, so I'm going to write the word sand. And then to change things, you do slash undo, and that undoes what you've asked it. So if I keep undoing until we get to that bit. And as you see here, to get up high, what I did was made an air pole. The way in world edit of doing this without having to make a nerd pole is typing slash slash up and then the height, the amount of blocks that you want to travel up. So I'm going to put 10. This puts you up 10 blocks and puts a glass block below you, which means you can select this block and do whatever else. So what I'm going to show you now, if I select this area here from the glass blocks down there, I'm going to do slash slash walls one. This will replace all of the outside blocks with, that will set all the outside blocks, sorry, to whatever ID you've put there. So I've put one, one is stone, so it's given me stone walls, which is all good. And as I've said before, you can change that. You could put this grass, you could do this dirt, it could be cobblestone, it could even be lava. But who wants lava? Now I'm going to have to get rid of this. So, here's, a, here's, a, here's a good, another command I can tell you while I'm being attacked by lava. Um, if you stand in a liquid and type slash slash drain, and then the radius that you want to drain, so I'm going to put 10, it will remove all the blocks, all liquid blocks in that radius. And as you can see here, it's got rid of all the lava that. I was stood in that's connected toward the one I was stood in in that radius. So I'm going to bump that up to 40 and that should get rid of all the outside and then I'll do the same on the inside. And then next um, what I'm going to show you to do slash slash zero. No I'm not. There's one of the other commands that I'm going to be showing you. <clears throat> if I was to put a load of ugly stuff here, maybe dig a, dig a hole. If I want to set that back to how it used to be before anybody touched it, I'd have to go in the amount of blocks that the area is affected by and select, and then I'd want to select a higher point, which is higher than where you want to change. And then you do slash slash regen. This will roll back the area that you've selected to how the map was with the original seed. So as you can see, it's changed back. We've got all of the all of the long grass. And there we are. This does bug out with mobs and stuff sometimes and it will randomly spawn animals and it is a little bit glitchy. <clears throat> right, one of the next commands I'm gonna show you is if I was to build this weird structure here. Like that. So I wanted another copy of this. I could select the bottom block, select a higher up block, so I'll do it one, and then I'm going to stand here and type slash slash copy. <coughs> or you can do slash slash cut. Cut will copy it to your clipboard, cut will copy it to your clipboard and get rid of it. So I'm going to undo and I'm going to copy it. <clears throat> so, the reason I had to stand on this block here 
was because when you paste it, it will paste from where you were standing when you copied it. So if I was to paste it, it would paste a block in front of me, like so. So if I were to stand out here and type slash slash copy, and then I wanted to paste it while I was stood here, it would put it in the ground. Because it puts it wherever you were standing. It puts it in like relation to where you were standing when you did the copy command. So you'd stand somewhere that you know you can move and be in the right place when you paste it. So there, I pasted it. But it's not facing the right way. I want it to be this way around. So what you're going to have to do for that one is type slash slash, rotate, and then it can be either 90, 180, 270, or 360 degrees. There's no point doing 360 though, because it will just make it face exactly how it's already facing. So if I wanted to face this way, I'm going to have to type slash slash rotate 90. And then I'll stand on the ground and paste. Now there we go. Because I've pasted, I've rotated it that way, you have to stand in the, in the same place. But because it's that way, the block would be here. So you'd have to face that way, and it would face where you are. If I wanted it to be facing that way, from here I could either paste, I could either rotate it 90 and 180, or I could just undo. I could um, let me just copy it again. I could do a rotate. And rotate it 270 degrees. That would mean I'd stand here, it would paste that way, and it would face that way. And as I've said, I could have pasted it 180, which would have just turned it completely around, and it would this bit would go here, and the other bits would go this side. Right. Moving on to one of the next commands. If I want to move this it, say this is a block wrong and I it needs to be say it needs to be here. What I'm gonna do is stand, I'm gonna face the direction it needs to move, and I'm gonna type slash slash move and then the amount of blocks it needs to move. So it needs to move in one. And it will move what you've selected, a block in the direction that you put it. So say it was actually needed to be here. This is one, two, three, four blocks away. So I'd face the direction that it needs to go. I'm going to type slash, slash move four. And you actually have to move it five because it's five blocks away from the actual block itself. So five. And now it's where we need it to be. It can be moved I can then move it that way, I can then move it that way, and I can then move it that way. But I don't need it moving any of those ways, I need it moving this way. And also it can be moved up, and it can be moved down. I need it over there. So that's where it's going to be moved to because it moves it five blocks from where it was originally. It was here, so it goes one, two, three, four, and the fifth block is there. So there it is. Right, that's some of the basic commands that you will be needing in World Edit. I will also be doing a video on some of the more advanced commands and some of the um, terrain generating that you can do with world edit so thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you next time